My name is Gil Haberman, and I lead product marketing for VMware's BCDR products. I'd like to tell you about some of the use cases we're seeing for SRM, and how latest features support these use cases. SRM was originally built for disaster failovers, and that is, of course, the most critical use case. This is when a site goes down, and VMs need to be migrated as fast as possible to a secondary site. In this case, SRM automates either a full or partial site recovery, and does the failover as fast as possible to recover business services. But what we found is that SRM isn't just used for disaster failovers. It's actually more often used for disaster avoidance and planned migrations. The other two use cases, while less critical, are more common. Disaster avoidance is when an organization knows in advance that a disaster is about to happen. For example, when a hurricane is moving in or flooding is predicted. In this case, organizations typically have at least a few hours notice before the disaster actually strikes. Also, organizations often perform planned migrations, for example, to avoid downtime for planned maintenance or for general uh, global load balancing. In SRM, we designed specific capabilities that aim to streamline these processes. Those are called automated failback and planned migration. Automated failback enables the migration of applications from the second site back to the original site using the initial recovery plan. With this capability, applications can move back and forth between sites automatically without having to set up a new recovery plan for each step, effectively allowing for bidirectional movement. The planned migration capability enables clean site migrations of virtual machines in an application consistent state and with zero data loss. Production of virtual machines are shut down gracefully, all the storage I.O. caches are flushed to disk, and replication is completed prior to initiating the site migration process. These capabilities help organizations use SRM not only for DR readiness, but also more broadly as a site manager. For more detailed information on vCenter Site Recovery Manager, check out our product page at vmware.com. Thank you.